I wanted to share with you um, kind of an interesting challenge I encountered this week. Um, I'm sure all of us have gone into a home and found some very interesting choices that architects have made and you think, why did they do this? Why did they design it this way? And I encountered one of those and I just wanted to share the solution that I found. Um, these people had um, a big living room with these big grand archways going into the room. I don't know how well you can see. This is the before picture as it was when I came in to see them for the first time. And so it has this really grand appearance with these big columns and the archways. And then this window that they put in is very short. And it just really made the whole room kind of fall flat on its face. And it needed a lot of height to go with the high ceiling. And especially with the shutter already being on it, 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 it gave us even more limitations. Arched windows are also not easy to treat. So I wanted to share the solution that I came up with. I know Sherry talked to you a couple weeks ago about the Tableau product, which is really a very amazingly flexible kind of product. And I was able to utilize it. Um, my idea was to take and do an arched shape Tableau and set it right on top of the frame of the shutter and paint the wall behind it in this red. These are some of the fabrics that we're using for the upholstery in that room already. And then um, just do a pair of side panels. So this lifted the entire window and gave it a lot more height and presence without um, getting too heavy with a lot of layers over that already heavy shutter. So it gives it a lot more of an architectural feel and less of your typical fabric window covering kind of feel. And, and you get the softness and the color from the side panels instead. And then I chose um, iron hardware too that kind of plays up on the wrought iron feel that you would get from the tableau. So that was my solution for them. And then the other thing I wanted to share a little bit, uh, we had the rep from Pindler and Pindler here this week, and I know not all of you were able to be here that day. Um, she had a lot of really amazingly beautiful fabrics that she showed us. And one of the, the things that she's really great about and Pindler is really great about is they have um, really large samples. If it's a pattern of any kind, all of their sampling shows an entire pattern repeat. And um, so there were a couple of patterns that I was interested in and she decided to send me a few more and I just wanted to share them with you because they really are just so beautiful. I think this pattern in particular, you could railroad this easily, do cornices out of it. And this is an upholstery weight with more of that color in it. Real rich, we're seeing some of these rich colors coming back in a few things. She threw in a few solids. Oop. Here's another one. She sent me a smaller sample of that. Really beautiful and traditional. And look at this fun paisley. They've updated the colors in a lot of these. They're not quite in the same colors that we were seeing a few years ago. They have a little bit of a lighter feel but still maintain some of that rich, um, the rich influences. And we're seeing a lot of purple again, finally. Mm -hmm. We've had customers requesting that. Isn't this like a nice coordinate? With that little zigzag. She threw in a few more solids. They have some really gorgeous, um, like a wool velvet. This is a wool velvet that she showed us. It's really, really beautiful and you touch it and you see how it feels. And this is what I ordered specifically from my customer. I think that's just a stunningly beautiful pattern. It goes that whole range from the purples and into the reds and a little bit of the green in there. And this is from the same, it's a coordinate basically. You can choose between them in those same colors. So I just wanted to share some of that. She sent all these to me and they were here in two days got them yesterday. And that's Beautiful. all I have. Thank you. Thank you.